Hey, y'all. Welcome to Adventures with Aggie, brought to you by Coco's Coffee House, located on Bleecker Street. Go check them out and tell them that Aggie sent you. So today we have another episode of Footy Freestyling. We're talking with Samuel Weller. He's based in Munich and he has a really cool story as he tells us why he freestyles, what it means to him, and how he makes up some of his moves and combinations. So please welcome Samuel. Samuel, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm so excited to share your story and dive a bit deeper into this world of freestyle that I know I'm not super familiar with, but I'm hoping you can shed some light on some of these topics. Um, But just to get started, can you kind of introduce yourself, give me some background on who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. Um, So my name is uh, Samuel Weller. I'm from uh, Munich in Germany. And I've been freestyling for about six to seven years. So, um, yeah, I'm now 21. So I started when I was um, 13, 14, 15 in that um, age. And, um, yeah, I enjoyed um, to be in the scene of freestyle football. I met all the top athletes um, back then when it was... um, allowed to do all the competitions, all the meetings, um, not only through um, online and social media, but also um, in person. And um, yeah, still in the sport, um, still trying to get better every day. And um, yeah, that's my story. And um, yeah. Awesome. That's just the beginning, just the beginning. I'm sure you've got lots of awesome things in store. Um, I guess, can you kind of tell me like when you were 13, 14, what, or why did you enter freestyle? Like what was so appealing about this and how did you get started? Um, so I saw just some clips of um, guys um, doing like freestyle tricks. Um, back then I was playing soccer uh, I started when I was 10, so quite um, quite late. Um, but um, yeah, I, I enjoyed playing. I um, enjoyed um, enjoyed um, having fun with um, the football. And um, yeah, then I got inter- uh, interested in freestyle and um, looked up for some tutorials on YouTube. Um, I think Instagram wasn't... Um, a thing back then so um it it all started and um yeah then i i learned the first trick i learned the second trick and so on um so i i caught fire um i i found a passion for it and um so yeah this is probably why i'm still um training football freestyle after that many years and um yeah for sure the community the family of uh, freestyle football is um what makes it so special um we're spread all of over all over the world um but still have um the same passion and um this is what also brings us uh, together every year maybe uh, last year and uh, not that much um than the previous years um but yeah when we uh, meet each other um at competitions or at meets um it's always much fun and yeah we're just basically all thinking the same and uh, freestyle football connects us um quite well yeah definitely i think the the one thing that i've noticed just from speaking with people like you and other people that i'm featuring in a series is how close-knit it is like i feel like a lot of freestylers know each other if they don't know each other they've competed against each other and it's definitely a family kind of atmosphere, um, which I think is so cool. And I think that's unique probably to freestyle. But um, I guess let's kind of move into these events that you were touching on. Um, what's maybe your favorite event or the place that you've performed at maybe before COVID-19? <laughs> I can't imagine <laughs> that happened in the last few months. Um, yeah. yeah. Can you share some highlights? Yeah. Um, so Super Bowl, um, it's not Super Bowl, <laughs> like the uh, um, American football one, but Super Bowl. Um, so it takes place um, every summer in uh, Prague, Czech Republic. And um, it's basically the open world championship. So everyone is um, allowed to participate. You don't have to qualify for it. 
And um, so, yeah, that's probably the most fun because uh, basically you spend seven days in Prague um, all together. So um, there are athletes from all over the world. And um, yeah, you compete against each other, um, but you also train um, like crazy until the in the evening uh, in the in the morning so maybe you start training at 10 and and at two in the night or um yeah so and then you also go out party um so uh, prague is def definitely the right city for it and um yeah basically it's it's the best year uh, a freestyler can have um in the year and um, everyone who was there um, tries somehow to get there. And um, yeah, this is why um, this event is very special. special. And, um, but besides that, um, there's also the Red Bull Street Style competition. So it's the competition by Red Bull and um, they organize um, usually uh, the nationals and um, with the nationals, um, you can qualify for the uh, world uh, finale. And um, yeah, that's also um, lots of fun, but it's a little bit more exclusive. So um, because it's not open, there aren't as many athletes. But um, for example, I was there 2018 in uh, Warsaw and um, yeah, it's also a really nice event. You get a closer um, look on all the top athletes. Um, and yeah, still very, very um, enjoying that. And um, for example, last year, then the uh, Red, Bull, uh, Red Bull Street Style was an online format. So um, everyone could compete. It was also open without the nationals. Um, and yeah. I was um, very successful uh, in my opinion there, um, which I um, didn't expect that much. Yeah. You surprised yourself. <laughs> yeah. <I love> that. <laughs> cool. Um, that sounds fun. I want to come to some of these events, I guess, post COVID. They sound great. Yeah. I would love to come watch y'all. Um, but I guess let's kind of talk about the last year. Like you talked about your virtual kind of anybody can enter situation. Um, but what have you been doing other than training and stuff? Are, are there competitions online? Are you, I don't know. I feel like I saw you in some studios on your Instagram. So what have you been up to in the last year? Um, yeah, it was, um, there, there, there wasn't, um, any competition, um, live. There was, um, the Red Bull competition. Um, and um, we in Germany, we wanted to um, organize, me and a friend of mine, who's also been um, a long time in the community, wanted to organize a meeting and a competition for uh, Germany. But um, yeah, we tried to uh, find locations and, um, but it wasn't, it was just um, too difficult to, to look for forward to um to the end of the year so we decided to um, wait until the situation here in germany um with um yeah COVID and um all big events um so yeah we're still um waiting for the situation to um get better but um then we definitely want to organize the competition by ourselves for germany and um but besides that, um, last year there weren't many shows. So um, that's also a big part of um, income for a freestyler. Um, so um, that was quite difficult. Um, but yeah, it probably was um, only the Red Bull Street Style online. And um, yeah, now. Um, this year, uh, Ahmad Reza, a freestyler from Iran, who um, lives in Hamburg, Germany also now, um, he organized um, a competition with um, there about, I think, 60 to 70 freestyle. So um, I'm right now I'm participating in that. And um, I'm, I got to the 
pro um, stage, so the top eight, and currently we are in the quarterfinals. Um, so yeah, that um, will also be interesting how that um, goes. Definitely, it's it's cool to see that even though these kinds of interactions, competitions, and things, they're not the same, but there's still a way to do it. You know, I think. Yeah in this last year, the sports prevailed, right? Like there's always something that happens, whether it's online or virtual or something like that. Um, but I think it's amazing just from hearing you speak about how global it is. Like you're competing with people all around the world all the time is what it sounds like. And you're probably in communication with those people all the time too, which is really, really yeah. cool and unique to freestyle. Um, but I'm, I'm curious, I guess, let's just kind of move into freestyle in general. Um, what part about this world of soccer freestyle is like the most exciting to you, I guess? Like, I know there's so much creativity, like being in front of crowds. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, are you teaching people? Are you coaching people? I don't know. Um, or maybe even the global aspect, but I guess what part mm -hmm. of this makes you the most excited? Um, the most excited, um, as I mentioned, um, previously is um the the family the um, community we are so um for example super bowl is probably the most exciting um but um i think um standing in front of a crowd and um showing your tricks um showing a a performance of which you're then um quite happy and um yeah, the, the crowd cheers for you is um, for sure also one of the top moments um, you can have in freestyle. And um, so, yeah, I'm uh, very uh, much looking forward to standing on the stage again. Um, I um, was going to perform at the Euros here in Munich. Um, um, and uh, unfortunately, the games... Um, were uh, postponed to this year and they're still in uh, planning um, all the venues and events um, but hopefully um, we can still perform but um, yeah without um, spectators but yeah it's uh, still a, a big um, big chance to to perform and to have lots of fun in my opinion yeah it sounds fun I want to do it. I told you, I want to come see you. I want to come hang out. But um, yeah. I guess let's kind of talk about your performance, right? So what is, mm -hmm. I, I see the stuff that you and other freestylers do on social media. I haven't really seen it much in person other than like the park down the street from my apartment. But what is, what is the process like in making these new moves and combinations? Like it looks crazy to me and I don't know if I could do any of it. So kind of, yeah. how do you, how do you do it? I guess, how do you do it is the question. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, a, a big uh, discussion is, also, uh, is always, yeah, is freestyle talent or is it just hard work? So in my opinion, um, you need the talent to um, always um, keep track of your trainings, always keep pushing um, your limits um, to, to trying to get better. But in the end, it's the hard work um, which gains you the... Um, the big steps in your uh, freestyle tricks and um, yeah, that's, the, you just hang out with the ball. You you're just trying to train. And then um, in this process, you, um, there, there comes ideas um, of which you then have to follow along and um, yeah, try to create some new tricks and try to then um, get them tricks uh, consistent. So um, that means that you can um, do them, um, land them um, fre uh, more fre frequently. And um, so, yeah, that's the process. You, you have an idea and then, um, yeah, try to get better at that um, trick. And um, maybe if you once ma master the trick, you then... Um, add a new difficulty to the trick. So um, for example, with uh, soul stall, you just um, lay on the ground and uh, balance the ball on your soul. Um, so the first step is just to um, try to hold the ball on your soul. 
And um, then the second step is maybe then to juggle the ball. Um, so you can um, kick, it up, kick it up with the right and the left and um, so on. And then you go um, and try some other variations. And yeah, social media is basically um, the, the media we use to exchange um, our tricks, our training clips. And um, yeah, I get a lot of um, inspiration, inspiration from other freestyler. Um, so yeah, we, we show um, the tricks to each other and maybe the next freestyler has uh, his own variation or his own idea to the trick. And um, so, yeah, this is, in my opinion, why the, the sport grew that much the past 10 years, because basically freestyle is only a sport for 20 years. And um, yeah, if you, if you watch clips from 10 years ago, um, you see how much it de um, developed um, the past years, then it's um, developed from 2000 to 2010. So with social media, there was a huge gain of um, level in freestyle. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I totally agree. Because like I said, that I only see it on social media, right? I don't yeah. sometimes, sometimes there's some cool people in the park watching this park <laughs> down the street from where I live, but not, not super often, especially not right now. There's a lot of snow outside, so that wouldn't be <laughs> <Okay>. good. <laughs> but um, I guess kind of a follow-up to that, it, you're talking about this growth, right? And like the, the immense growth that's happened in the last 10 years um, and really 20 years, I guess. What does that look like in Germany? Like I see it more commonly in the U S I know it's growing a lot. Red Bull is pushing it a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, what does that look like in Germany? Um, so the first generation of freestyler um, is now in the age of um, their early 30s, I would say. So um, they've been in the sport for 10 to 15 years already. And um, many of them don't train um, that uh, that much um but um there's there's building up a quite big right now um i i see a big grow because of um covid because um yeah the kids can't train um with their team and um yeah that's the big advantage of freestyler is um that you can train alone you just all you need is a ball is the um, phrase uh, in freestyle um, so um, I'm quite sure there comes a, a huge generation of new freestyler now, um, which I'm very happy of because I think um, many of um, the guys playing football here in Germany, which is very, very popular, um, don't know freestyle. But um, once they um, got known to freestyle and see the advantages of it um i'm i'm quite sure many of them um we must say um, compared to the number of kids um playing football the number of freestylers is very very um little here in germany sure yeah. yeah i think i think that's common in lots of places too i mean i don't mm -hmm. know if the united states is a great example just because soccer is not the main sport but um more so I think in other parts of the world as well. But um, I guess I was gonna ask you, what, where do you see freestyle going in the next few years? You kind of already answered that. Um, but I guess, what do you hope to see? I mean, obviously return of like in-person events would be really cool, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah. What, are you, what are you looking forward to? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure the, the events um, will come back and um, hopefully the events will, um, will get bigger. But because um, I must say the events um, about 10 years ago, maybe 10 to five, five to 10 years ago were bigger just uh, because freestyle wasn't known um, that much. Um, so it was very special still if, if a guy um, could do those tricks because no one ever saw um, those tricks nowadays with social media everyone um, has, or, or let's say, uh, the most of um, the people watching Freestyle have already, already seen a clip on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. 
So um, also the the it, it's not a sport that is that much eye catching as it was five to ten years ago. So um, hopefully this will um, get better with um, the level increasing. And besides that, I um, I'm hoping that um, freestyle gets more known to the youth. Um, and yeah, it won't be an exception if um, a guy um, stops playing football because he wants to focus on freestyle as I did. But um, yeah, that that is uh, uh, an un understandable reason to to focus on freestyle and not to to play football anymore or soccer. Definitely, I think the the all you needs a ball that should be enough of a selling point, right? To make people realize like anybody can do it. The growth is there. Yeah. Like I think yeah. I'm sure I have a ball somewhere around this apartment, and I could jump <laughs> in if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it it is accessible. It is. And now mm -hmm. with the growth of social media, like you're saying as well, like it's it's not easy to do, but it's easy to be exposed to, I think, which is the first piece in like yeah. learning about it, which I think a lot of people still need to learn. Yeah, and I, I think um especially for um young uh, women, uh freestyle is a great way to to express their self because um I, I did, um, I um, had the experience that um, female freestyle is um, more um, like eye-catching than male freestyle because it's something um, more special. And um, so, yeah, they're coming um, also here in Germany. I see many, many uh, young girls um, starting with freestyle. And um, there are some some of the top female freestyler who um, now show that um, girls um, can also play football, can also handle um, the the ball quite well. So um, yeah, I'm I'm very looking forward um, to to see more young uh, girls, um, yeah, juggling and doing uh, freestyle football and master it. Me too. Me too. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. And I have seen it on social as well. Um, hopefully we have a few um, girls and women to speak with on this series as well. But mm -hmm. um, I, I love that. I think it is really cool. It's really appealing and stuff, especially with the all of the talk in the world right now about gender equality and sport and how like, yeah. Yeah. it is such a it is a common thing in freestyle, I think more so than other sports right now. Um, or I guess not common may not be the right word, but it's growing. Um, yeah. which is really cool. But um, yeah, no, that's a great point. Um, okay, cool. Just a few more questions for you. But what are, what are you focused on now? Do you have any exciting things coming up? I know you're training all the time. Um, but yeah, what do you have coming up next? Yeah, so um, I'm training many um, acrobat acrobatic tricks uh, right now. So I'm trying to master um, my handstands to, to balance mm -hmm. Uh, the ball while I'm in the handstand um, and I also learned uh, the backflip last year so um, I want to go back um, to it right now it's a little bit difficult because I'm training um, at my place in the basement and there's not that much space than in my um, big training hall which is uh, not far from home so um, I'm looking forward to that and um, of course to go back to shows to big events to um, perform at the Euro Euros um, in summer here in Munich um, and then just um, having fun going back to meetings um, yeah meet and train with um, the guys from all over the world and yeah I think that that are um, already many, many points um, and plans for the future. And um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens next then. Definitely, but I think that's that's so cool about freestyle, how like there's always something to work on, right? Like you can find yeah, a new yeah, trick or yeah. something. I feel like you can't get bored, you know? Like there's no, always there, there's, there's no, no limit. You can also, you can always improve. Um, yeah. So 
that's the cool thing about freestyle, um, which is such a young sport to, um, to have no, um, no um, limits, um, which, which um, defines you and defines your um, path um, in freestyle. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool. I'm excited. I want to try it now. Maybe I should try it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah, see just, how that goes. <laughs> just, ju just take a ball and try juggling and um, yeah. <laughs> We'll see how many things I break in my apartment before before that works. <laughs> yeah, in the in the beginning, um, my mom always uh, told me I shouldn't uh, play here because there's a, a glass and um, I could break this or that. Um, but now she she kind of trusts me and um, my my ball control, so. Um, She's fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Fine is the word. She's kind of okay with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I love it. That's awesome. Uh, cool. Okay. Just last question for you. I end all of my shows on advice. So mm -hmm. um, what is one piece of advice you would give to people that are looking to start freestyle or they might want to, but they're not sure how to get into it yet? Um, so I'm also um, getting... Um, this question a lot on Instagram. So how should, how should I start and uh, what tricks should I um, learn? And um, in, my, uh, in my opinion, I um, always say, just um, take the ball, go out, go train, um, try things out because you have to um, learn what um, tricks and what um, disciplines in freestyle you enjoy, enjoy the most. And there are so many um, different disciplines, different tricks, different kind of tricks. Um, so I think everyone um, who has the passion for freestyle um, will um, find any uh, tricks or any um, discipline who he enjoys the most. And um, this is what you should work in the be beginning, just um, to have fun and to keep um, to keep the fire on which um, fuels you and with which keeps you training. That's great advice. That's really good advice. I think the keep the fire going, that's that's big, especially for this yeah. sport. Like we said, you can't get bored. There's always a fire to keep going, right? I, all right, I yeah. would like to think so, but- um, Yeah, and, and, and you, you don't have um, any um, coach or any trainer. Yeah. So you, you have to keep you motivated by yourself and maybe friends, um, or other freestyler on social media. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's I think, um, difficult for some people. And um, it's, it's not the usual way of sports. You usually have a coach, um, so yeah. Yeah, I think that the discipline piece, you know, like that's huge because it's, it's on you, right? Yeah. How good you yeah. want to be and how long you want to work and stuff like that. Um, which is similar for other sports, but I think more so in this one, because you don't have that kind of overhanging coach figure <laughs> that's telling no, you what to yeah. do all the time, but yeah, it's yeah. great. Cool. Awesome. Well, that's great advice, Samuel. Thank you so much for sharing your story and giving us some more insight into the freestyle world, but thank you for your time. Thank you. Awesome. I hope I could, uh, could uh, share my opinion. Yeah. Thanks so much for your awesome story, Samuel. I appreciate your time and thank you for coming on. Next on Adventures with Aggie, we have Frankie Flo. His episode is dropping Monday at 10 a.m. So please tune in and listen to Frankie's story.